All right, let's go ahead and take a look at net forces here. So what exactly is a net force? It's the sum of all forces acting on an object, right? If I've got an object that looks like this, I have some forces acting to the right. I have some forces acting to the left, down, up. How do I figure out the overall net forces? I had to take a look at every single force here. If I have 10 newtons acting down, 10 newtons acting up, I have no zero newton net force in the upwards and downwards direction. Let's say I've got 20 newtons acting to the left. I have 30 newtons acting to the right. I would say this particular object has a 10 newton to the right net force acting on it. Um, units for force are technically kilogram meters per second squared. If we look at the formula, mass times acceleration, mass is measured in kilograms. Acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. So that means force, the thing on this side, should be equal to the thing on this side times the thing on the other, mass times acceleration. So end up with kilograms times meters per second squared. That's just weird to say. So instead of saying a force uh, force is equal to a kilogram meter per second squared, we would just say that one kilogram meter per second squared, let's just call that a newton. So instead of looking at this as kilogram meters per second squared, we say, let's deal with newtons. It sounds a little bit easier. All right, what do we think happens to an object when a net force is applied? A couple of different things, right? I could have an object that's already in motion. It's already moving in this direction, if it's traveling in that direction, it keeps moving, 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 moving. Remember, an object can continue to stay in motion based on its own inertia. There doesn't have to be a force acting on it for it to be moving. There has to be a force acting on it for it to be accelerating. It could be moving just at a constant velocity. It's like a car on cruise control. There's a lot of forces acting on it, um, but there's a net force of zero newtons. How is that possible? Well, the car's engine's putting out quite a bit to get the car to move in the forward direction, but friction's also holding the car back quite a bit, resisting the force of that engine, or more technically, the force of those wheels on the road. So what that means is the car's on cruise control. It's not accelerating, but it is still moving. So a zero newton net force could mean that we're moving, just not accelerating, or it might mean that we're sitting still. If I've got an object that's sitting still, there could still be a heck of a lot of forces acting on it, like a box. I might have a million newtons of force acting in one direction, but it would just mean that there's also a million newtons worth of force acting in the other op in the other direction. Overall, this is a zero newton net force, despite the fact that individual forces are um, fairly large here. Zero newton net force means that I'm not going to change the state of motion, so if this box is sitting to begin with, it's going to continue to sit. All right, so if we take a look at a book sitting on a table, the forces that are acting on the book, so here's my table, here's my terrible diagram of a book. So gravity is going to pull the book down. We automatically know that. Gravity is always present in the problems that we're dealing with. But right now, if I left this diagram with just gravity pulling the book down, that means that this book is accelerating through the table. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So there must be some sort of resisting force acting against gravity. And that's the normal force. Remember, the normal force is always perpendicular to a surface. So if this is my surface, perpendicular would be 90 degrees. So the normal force is always pushing off the surface, not resisting gravity. Right? Pushing off the surface. Net force on the book is zero if it's just sitting on a table, not moving. It has no net force. Otherwise, it wouldn't be sitting on the table, not moving. It would go from sitting to starting to move, or if it was moving already, it would start to sit or even move faster if there's some sort of net force present. Some sort of acceleration would be. Um, we know that if no acceleration is present, then that means we're not speeding up, we're not slowing down, so we have a constant velocity. Whether that constant velocity is zero, an object at rest, or that cons constant velocity is extraordinarily fast at a million meters per second, it's still constant, not speeding up, not slowing down. Um, if, an ob if forces on an object are balanced, 
that's the same thing as saying we have no net force. If we have no net force, we have no acceleration. If we have no acceleration, we have constant velocity. And what equilibrium is, it's just a state where opposing forces are equal or balanced. Um, equilibrium in general is just a state where things are equal or balanced. Um, when referring to forces, it just happens to be those things that are equal or balanced are forces. So forces that are equal or balanced.